At the Ignite conference in September, Microsoft announced a rebranding of several of their security solutions. And in the last few weeks, several of you have reached out asking, you know, how does this impact the Microsoft security exams I'm preparing for, like the MS-500 or the AZ-500? So today, I'm going to share with you what changed, where you can expect it'll show up, and when you need to be ready. So let's jump in. So this rebranding was really something of a brand unification because everything they rebranded falls under the Microsoft Defender uh, brand at the highest level. And Microsoft described two experiences, uh, Azure Defender and Microsoft 365 Defender. And you might ask yourself, well, what exactly is the difference between those two? So let's take that as a next step. So we'll start with Microsoft 365 Defender, which focuses on functions like email your client endpoints, identities, uh, and apps. And then there's Azure Defender, which focuses on your hybrid infrastructure, your server endpoints, containers, networks, managed apps, SQL Server. This is by no means exhaustive. I'm giving you some context here uh, for the rebranding breakdown, so to speak. So let's just dive right into Azure Defender since that's on our screen. So it starts with Azure Security Center, and that uh, Security Center standard product is rebranded as Azure Defender for Servers. And that's your hybrid infrastructure. So remember that's Azure VMs that's on-prem. Uh, we have Azure Security Center uh, standard, which covered Kubernetes as well, and that's now rebranded as Azure Defender for Kubernetes. So that function is, has been broken out into its own distinct product. There's quite a, a growing bit of functionality there, so it makes sense to me. Uh, then Azure Security Center for IoT is now Azure Defender for IoT. So I bet you're starting to see the, uh, the pattern here. And then we had uh, Advanced Threat Protection for SQL, which is now Azure Defender for SQL. So, so we see a unification in the naming there. These are you know, the same functions. Of course, they're always evolving and Microsoft's always announcing new features and functionality, but you see the, the unity in the naming there, right? Uh, in, in fact, if we just visualize that, you've got Azure Defender for servers. You have Azure Defender for Kubernetes. We have Azure Defender for SQL and Azure Defender for IoT. Now, these are not the official logos. These are fairly new announcements. I'm giving you some visual anchors here to help you remember these branding changes for your exam preparation. So, so we have those four components uh, are, are key uh, for the Azure Defender uh, branding. So under the Microsoft 365 Defender uh, brand. We, we start with Microsoft Threat Protection, which is now Microsoft 365 Defender. So Microsoft Threat Protection brought together a unified experience that coordinated our detection, our prevention, and most, most importantly, I think, our investigation. So it allowed us to investigate and respond with greater context because we could look across more types of data. There is then Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, that's what began in its infancy as an EDR solution native to Windows 10 where the sensor was built in and Microsoft uh, Defender ATP then you know, became ubiquitous across client and server operating systems even into the cross-platform world. That is now Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. We have Office 365 ATP, Advanced Threat Protection, which is our email uh, functionality. This is how we're stopping advanced attacks based in email, those, those phishing campaigns. And that is now Microsoft Defender for Office 365. And, and finally, Azure Advanced Threat Protection is now Microsoft Defender for Identity. And again, my descriptions here are not intended to be uh, exhaustive. I'm, I'm giving you some high level, but, but most importantly, we're focusing on these rebranding. So, you, so just to give you a visual uh, summary here for the Microsoft 365 rebranding, we have Microsoft Defender for Office 365. That was previously Defender uh, Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection. So that's our email-based uh, defense. We have Microsoft 365 Defender, which uh, is the new name for Microsoft Threat Protection, that unified 
uh, experience uh, pre and post breach that gave us great uh, advances in investigation and response. Um, <clears throat> Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, originally Microsoft Defender ATP, which is that EDR. Now you're going to hear really these tools described as XDR. And, and don't concern yourself too much with it right now, but expect that you're going to begin hearing uh, extended uh, detection and response as opposed to uh, endpoint detection and response. It's, it's an industry shift for uh, suites that have you know greater than EDR functionality or what we associate traditionally with EDR. <clears throat> and then finally in the Microsoft 365 Defender bucket we have Microsoft Defender for Identity which was previously Azure Advanced Threat Protection. And the next big question, you know, what is the impact to the Microsoft Security exam? So we have the MS500 exam, which is the Microsoft uh, 365 Security Administrator Associate. And then we have the uh, Microsoft Azure Security Engineer exam, which is AZ500. So each of these are going to have a unique impact uh, based on those branding changes. And by impact, I mean, you need to remember the branding changes, right? The, the functionality is the same, but the names have been moved around. So let's talk about each exam and what you can expect has changed. But before we do, if you haven't already uh, watched these videos, I have a short video that will explain how you should prepare for the AZ500 exam, and it's a fast, effective, and free Path. So if you're somebody who uh, wants to save time, you want to save money, this is a great place to look. I mean, I'm not saying you won't augment your strategy here, but this is, is a heck of a place to start uh, if, uh, if you'd like to move quickly and, and cost effectively. And on that note, I have a Microsoft uh, AZ500 exam cram series out there that will really help you uh, with some gotcha areas and to focus your study. And then the uh, AZ500 uh, video practice exam series. So really uh, uh, an audi audible and visual practice exam series you can take with you anywhere. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So let's get to what is the impact on the exam. So what should I know about uh, the Microsoft Defender rebranding changes here for the exams? Well, it depends on the exam. So let's start with Azure Security Engineer Associate. So that's the AZ500 exam. You really want to focus on the Azure Defender changes there. Uh, that's where uh, Azure Security Center uh, appeared prominently, uh, mostly in domain three of that exam. Uh, but, but containers, uh, definitely very much in focus. Security around networks, storage, SQL, your servers. Uh, so, so AZ500 is very much going to see some impact from Azure Defender. Now, the other exam we need to think about is the Microsoft 365 Security Administrator exam. And MS500, you really need to focus on the changes for Microsoft 365 Defender. And again, we're talking about changes in name, folks, okay? So, so you want to know uh, those names. So, the, uh, the questions are not foreign to you, right? Uh, just, just bearing in mind, this was a rebranding. This wasn't a, a wholesale change in functionality. This was uh, a, a unification in, in naming. And the other big question I expect you're no doubt going to have is when will these changes appear? And the reality here is you need to prepare for these changes now. You know, technically, you know, for the most part, Microsoft will publish something out on the skills measured page for that exam, the same page where you go to get skills measured to register for an exam or to, uh, to look at your training options. On that page, Microsoft will tell you when changes are coming generally. I would, however, uh, learn these changes right now. If for no other reason, when you go searching for information on these security solutions, you will find the names have long since changed on all the Microsoft web properties, which means uh, these changes, if they're not already on the exam when you walk in the door, they will be very soon, which means the time to commit these changes to memory is exactly right now. So waste no time in getting these changes under your belt for exam day. 
And that is what's new with the branding around Microsoft Security Solutions. So reach out if you have any questions. Be sure to like and subscribe. Good luck on the exam, and we'll see you in the next video.